Welcome to the very first episode of The Power Hour. Today we have two pretty young businesses. We've got Jess Robinson from Squiffy Print and we've got Emma Lees from We Are Wolf. Two fantastic new businesses, uh, well worth checking out. So we're going to talk about outsourcing. We're going to talk about uh, charging for value and not necessarily per hour. And we're also going to talk about how to win new clients. Let's get started. Dead excited to welcome Jess from Squiffy Print. We're dead excited to welcome Emma Lees, and I'm just going to briefly ask Emma to introduce herself, but before we do, we need to start the clock. I have a design and print company which specialises in personalisation. Um, I sell on two websites, one called notonthehighstreet.com and one called etsy.com, and I'm just in the middle of setting up my own website as well now. Um, we do brand and marketing for companies, generating new leads and new business. Um, not been going for very long, it's only just been four months. What are your major wins? What, what's been great so far? Um, I have only just been selling on Not On The High Street for a year. I've gone fully self-employed at the end of October. Today on Not On The High Street, I've been in the Halloween campaign, the Christmas catalogue, which went out to 1.3 million people. And now I am going, they've requested one of my products to go in the Father's Day campaign, which is fantastic. It's gone in the top 100 products on the site. And it's going on a national TV advert as well. So let's talk about getting some new clients then, because that's ultimately where you need to be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, networking. Mm -hmm. One million percent networking. You know, you're a very personable person. You can get out there. Why aren't you networking further than shout? But, oh, well, I was just Go about on. to say, how are you supposed to do that? Like, my circumstances. I, I don't drive. I can't afford lessons. I can't afford a car. Like, as much as I need yeah. to do those things. Give up. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No. No, I think the reality is, is that um, to run a, a business, it's very difficult to do that without transport. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think that's a hurdle you're going to have to get over. Um, I think it could be quite a funky thing if you got yourself a nice little pink moped. Um, no. <laughs> it could be a brand thing. Oh, no. You know, with a, with a, a printed wolf on the side of it or something. Yeah. <laughs> or a Vespa, a, bit, yeah. a pink Vespa. A Vespa would be good, yeah, yeah. not like a crappy moped. Um, <laughs> ring 10 businesses and say, we're having a networking group at this coffee shop at this time for an hour. Mm. I'll buy your coffee, you know, or bring a tenner for your coffee and your... Yeah. breakfast bun and again you, you know, use social media for yeah. that as well you yeah. connect with people so easily obviously with thinking just offline networking but you can use your social media to complement that and get people along to a networking event or set yeah. up your own or yeah. even if it's, it doesn't have to be a formal networking event it can just be sort of getting some yeah. businesses down you for think? a chat yeah totally that. totally is uh, is a is usually an easy one to to get going just ring them up and say friday at five o'clock we're meeting at this pub it's local business local minds you know mm -hmm. sharing their ideas that one's always an easy one you know because everybody wants to go for a drink after you know after work on a friday yeah. whether it's charging an hourly rate which again i don't necessarily believe in but it's probably a good place to start really um yeah i don't i don't believe in charging hourly rate mm -hmm. it's good to use as a guide for how much something should cost but the reality is you should sell on value. The problem with mm. selling by time is that there's always somebody going to do it £10 an hour cheaper than you. There's oh, yeah. always, mm. you know, so you, as soon as you're selling time, mm. it's a very difficult thing to win. You can't charge more than the going rate when you're mm. doing it per hour. Again, I get it. You almost have to kind of start at that point, but then try and work away from it. So you're selling some value yeah. um, rather than, you, you know, selling time. And, and again, in order to get, this and with staff and, and, and a team and whatnot, I think you've got to get to the point where you're selling value and not selling time. You know, selling time is a very good way of making a lot of money because, you, you know, it, it's easy. But the reality is, is that you'll sell shit work mm -hmm. because then you're always, you know, you might charge three hours out, but you're pushing mm -hmm. your staff to do it in a yeah, one and a half hours. Limited, yeah, you reduce, you, re you reduce your creativity. Just because you set up a website doesn't mean you're going to get orders. You've, no. got to, you've got to build that relationship, build the trust from people, and, and that will come down to your, your routes to market as well. So, you know, even even if you can just get a basic website out with five products on, whatever you can, just get it out there and start building the relationship through your social media lines. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got a decent following now. You can play on yeah. that and, and start pushing stuff out there. If you can promote it through Etsy, make sure that you do. Mm -hmm. You know, everything that goes out, you know, you need to be sending them something saying, you know. Check yeah, it out I sticker it all up with, like, followers on social media. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you hashtag, thank you, Squiffy, you get 10% off your next mm -hmm. order and stuff. I know my confidence, like, is bad at most times. But in terms of that, 
I, I do I do struggle, even though I absolutely know that I'm good at what I do and I can do it, you know, mm. like blindfolded. It's it's just very difficult for me to get that across to people. Yeah. That's what I've had to get over though. Cause really? Like I sort of I was doing everything to start with, like the social mm-hmm. media and the management and all that kind of stuff. And you can get really excited about the work you're doing and you yeah. know you're really passionate about what you're doing. Yeah. And then you go out and you feel like you've suddenly got to flick a switch and become a salesperson. Yeah. But yeah, it's completely definitely. not like that. It's I find now, particularly with the content marketing angle that we're taking, mm-hmm. I do presentations about everything, get really excited. Have a meeting with someone, get really excited, and then suddenly like, yeah, I want to work with you. And that's it. And it's like, shit, I've just yeah, sold that's something. That's all it took. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's just, it's getting exciting. It's, it's going through the motions yeah. with people, like getting excited with them and, and sort of building a relationship. There's no real, well, there's a skill to selling, but it's not like a huge new thing that you've got yeah. to suddenly master it's it's just developing what you've already got and it's getting exciting with people it's demonstrating your expertise yeah. everything that we sort of bang on about with content marketing it's demonstrating that to people then they want to work with you i think cool. with selling on those websites you become like a little bit safe don't you because mm. all you have to do is design your products and upload them and they'll do all the marketing for you safe to an extent until they pull the fucking plug yeah you know until right they on. go bust you know it's like you're employed you know, you, you're relying on somebody else to, mm. to give you a customer base and that's fine for as long as they're there but you've got to start setting up as if they're not there. You know, almost like, it, it, even if the website is a bit of a side project, if you will, because you are going to still be busy doing your day-to-day. So you're going to have to ditch an hour's sleep or something and, and do an extra yeah. hour every day and just just focus on your website. Because people knew that I was new, then it's kind of like, well, that you know, there's a risk. Of, of course, there's a risk in taking me on, like paying for my services because I don't have anything yet to show under this name. So I think from that, they're thinking, well, you know, just do it as a favour then and, you know, it'll boost you. And well, that's, that's, that's within you. Yeah. That's that value within you. You think? You down yourself, I think, and, like, the lack of confidence. Yeah. It, it, you're, I mean, you've, you've just said what they're thinking, so you're, you're almost... You're, Assuming. You're, yeah, mm-hmm. that's not what they're thinking. You've just allowed that to happen. It's, you know, okay. you, you, you should never worry about what anyone else is thinking anyway. Sod that. You, you know your value. Who cares what anybody else thinks? I don't. Mm-hmm. You know, I swear like nobody's business when I'm filming and, you know, I just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. You know, I am what I am and, and yeah. you know, I'm, I'm not ashamed of that. You know, whenever I go into pitches now, I, you know, I don't worry about charging 10 grand for a job. You know, there was a time where I'd be like, oh, 10 grand, cracky. No, mm. I know the value of it, you know. So we, you know, and, and Sam knows, you know, mm. we, but you were, we're always developing, you know, yeah. it can, we can always improve, but... You know, so yeah, don't don't worry what they think and what they're you know. Don't try and predict what they're even thinking. It doesn't matter what they think. Fr- frankly, it's, it's that famous quote: "What they're thinking is none of your business." I think the reality is is that that will be a an absolute challenge. Mm. Um, yeah. You need to look at where there's good public transport links because um, yes, it's a challenge. It's not unsurmountable. Um, I think the reality are with public transport these days, you should be able to get to some places. Where, where's your nearest city that you can get to in one train? Preston, network yes. there. Yeah. Network there because within a short distance from there, mm. you can, you know, there must be a dozen networking yeah. events that you okay. could get to. You take Friday afternoons off. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Jess takes Friday afternoons I try. Off yeah, but then I work at weekends as well, don't and she's I? She's complaining that she's not had time to do a website and she takes Friday afternoons off. I'm work. trying to run a household as well as a business. <laughs> um, you need a website. I think we've all come to the conclusion on that. You know it yourself. Yeah. But, you know, I just feel like you could be missing out on a on an opportunity because these brands, your brand, will take so long to build up to you know compete against. Because effectively, you're going to be competing against not on the high street at some point. Mm. You know, you, they're going to come. You want them to come to your website instead of them. And you know, the reality is that they've spent millions on you know building up their brand over the years. You need to start building your brand as soon as you possibly can. Because if your ideas are massive, the longer you wait to start building that up as your brand and focusing on it being your brand, the longer it'll take for you to achieve the... Yeah. Everything that you need to be doing right now is about relationship building. It's about going out and putting the legwork in um, to meet people, to generate a bit of brand awareness. It's your social media work. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, if, if we were to to take you on as a client um we'd look to the content marketing because that's where we see that you know the in fact we know content marketing i think 
I read an article the other day, content marketing spend went up uh, it, from 28% to 35%, mm. whatever it was, uh, from 2015, no, 2014 to 2015, and it's going to do the same yeah. again. And they reckon that content marketing is going to be, like, I don't know, the, the main way of yeah. marketing. No, it's that the ultimately. whole content is king, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah, absolutely. I thought I could master business. I just thought I was this master business person because in year one we made money. Uh, the reality is, is that I then threw myself into all sorts of different businesses, got myself into shitloads of financial problems um, because I tried to take too much on. So I'd just stick to what I was gone. That's it. Oh, two seconds. That's, That's a wrap. Hold <laughs> <laughs> well on. Got to that stage where you're outsourcing. Yeah, I can't use a sewing machine anyway. That's uh, for the record and the sound. That's just Chris dropping Chris one of his cameras. <laughs>